Hey everyone, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, we're checking out the all new, awesome new PF20T. Now this guy is 20 watts of pure all tube Ampeg tone, power, and vibe in a small and relatively lightweight package. So right off the bat, it screams Ampeg. It says Ampeg all over it. It's built like a tank. Solid steel chassis, black powder coated transformers, steel grill that protects the tubes. I'll remove the grill here in a second so we can take a look under the hood and see what's going on tube wise. The front panel is as straightforward classic Ampeg as it gets. Input, gain control, bass, middle, treble, master volume. It is classic Ampeg. And like I say, if you're familiar with everything from the classic series to the pro series, Portaflex and BA combos, you will be right at home with this classic Ampeg tone stack on the PF20T. Okay, so up until now, I've pretty much had everything set flat. EQ is pretty much straight up. P bass, volume, tone control. Um, Okay, and I should mention that I'm playing through the all new PF 112 HLF. So be sure to check out the video on this guy as well. But for now, uh, I can dial in a classic Motown sound if I want, bring the bass all the way up, kill the mid, kill the treble. Okay, so you get the point. Obviously, I'm still playing with round wounds. I don't have 50 year old flats on my P bass, but you get the idea. Bring it back, everything to flat, and again, the amp is back to neutral. I can bring in a little bit of bass, scoop some mids, bring the treble up, and I can get a decent slap sound too. so you get the idea there, okay? Bring everything back to flat again. One last feature on the front panel that I wanna talk about is the purple LED. So in play mode with the amp powered up and off standby, it shines traditional Ampeg purple. When I put it on standby and leave the amp powered up, it'll switch to red LED, okay? So you know your amp is in standby. For all your other band members, when they see red on your amp, they know you're faking it, how's that? Take it back off standby, switches back to purple, you know you're ready to go. Okay, so let me get the grill taken off so we can take a look at the tube complement under there. I'll get the amp flipped around so we can take a look at some of the back panel features as well. Okay, so I removed the metal tube cage and we're looking at the tube complement, which is two 6V6s in the power section and two 12AX7s in the preamp and gain stages. Okay, so I flipped the PF20T around. We're taking a look at the back panel. Again, there's not a whole lot of exciting things on the back of an amplifier to look at, but in the case of the PF20T and the 50T, there are some pretty exciting things that I wanted to point out. So you've got a power switch and a standby switch, pretty straightforward on an all tube amplifier. I left the amp plugged in and powered up for a couple of very specific reasons I wanted to show you. Number one, user biasing feature for the power section. Anytime you change the power tubes or you just need to rebias for servicing or whatever reason, you can do so without having to bring it to a service center. Uh, the other feature that I wanted to show you why it's powered up is notice how it's not connected to a speaker load. With the PF20T and the PF50T, you do not need to have it connected to a speaker load. Why is this useful? Well. Getting to the next feature that I want to show you, you've got two XLR outs on the back. One that is a preamp XLR out, which takes a signal directly from the preamp. Another one that is a transformer balance line out, which takes a signal directly from the power transformer. 
which replicates the same sound as you would be getting if you were plugged into a speaker cabinet. You can use either one of these two or both of them simultaneously without having to have a speaker load connected. This is perfect for small project studios, for any kind of studio where you just can't get loud with a speaker cabinet. So be sure to check out my other videos which focus primarily on the recording features of the PF20T and the PF50T. Okay, so you probably wonder what I'm doing sitting here with a PF115HE and no amp on top of it. Well, because the PF20T is part of the Portaflex series, it retrofits to the lid of any PF115HE or PF210HE, in this case the 115HE. So it fits perfectly upside down in the cabinet when it's in transport mode, and then you flip it right side up for play mode. Instant all tube Portaflex flip top. So there you go, folks, the all new PF20T. 20 watts of pure all tube classic Ampeg tone, power, and vibe in a small and relatively lightweight package. Perfect solution for bass players or studio owners that are looking for that classic all tube Ampeg sound in their recordings or in their studios. The dual XLR outs and the fact that you don't have to have it connected to a speaker load is invaluable, especially in small project studios. It's the perfect solution for bass players who love their current solid state Portaflex setups, but want to step up to an all tube design, yet still retain that convenient flip top feature found in some of our cabinets. Well, that's it for me guys. My name's Dino Monoxilis and like I always say, play more bass.